Absolute and relative positioning is one of the most basic things in CSS that everyone knows. But do you really understand how they actually works? In this video, we are going to talk about absolute position versus relative in details along with some examples. Let's check it out. So here is our example page. I have four boxes. Box 1 is parent of box 2, 2 is parent of 3, and 3 is parent of 4 respectively. I only set the size and background and use display flex to center them. Now I'm going to try setting the position of box 4 to absolute. You see that nothing happened. This is because an element needs two things to position itself. First is the coordinates such as top, left, right, bottom properties and second is the parent element it can position itself to. So now I'm going to try setting top left to zero. You will see that the box 4 is now positioned itself to the body instead of top left corner of box 3. This is because in order to be an eligible positioning parent, the element needs to have their position defined. The default value of position property is unset. So when we set the box 4 position to absolute, none of them are eligible parent and box 4 has to position itself to the body. Now what will happen if we add position absolute to box 2? You see that box 4 is now positioned itself to box 2 instead of the body because box 2 is the closest parent that have position defined. So if I add position absolute to box 3, Box 4 will now position itself to the box 3 instead of box 2 because box 3 is now closer eligible parent. Now let's set box 4 position to relative and add some top left. You see that box 4 is moving away from original position by the value we have set. Adding position to any parent boxes will not affect the box 4 this time. This is the difference between absolute and relative because relative only cares about the original position while absolute have to find closest eligible parent element. Another major difference is absolute position removes the element from the normal document flow. Let's look at this example. We have box 1 with box 2 inside it, but we only set width and height for box 2 and only padding for box 1. So the box 1 size is depending on box 2 as you can see. Currently I have set position relative for box 2. Let's try increasing left property. You see that the size of box 1 remain unchanged. Now let's try changing box 2 position to absolute. Now you notice that the box 1 size is reduced. The only thing you can see now is padding. This because the absolute position removed box 2 from document flow. Therefore, box 1 did not make space for box 2 anymore. So to sum up, absolute position need two things a coordinate and eligible positioning parent. Also it removes an element from document flow. Relative only cares about moving away from original position and does not change the document flow. If you love this video, don't forget to like or subscribe to stay tuned with us for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!